Hello everyone, welcome to your next tutorial on Cake PHP user authentication. In this tutorial, we'll look at Cake PHP's timing. If you look into the, you'll observe that this time doesn't look cool, doesn't look at cool at all. So what we are going to do is to make it look cool using Cake PHP's time. Cake PHP already has time installed by default in the view, but if you want to use it in the controller, you will have to import it. All right. So in the view, what we're going to do is to go to the created and uh, use cake php's time cake php uses a time package called chronos so you can google it if you want to read more i'll show you where to read more so we are going to use the php tags remember that these are the short tags you can use it but if you're using the long tag you must echo out everything all right so we are going to say php echo we're going to use the time class we say this time and we're going to use a property called um, a method there called um, time ago in words tells us um, when something happened properly not just speak now the time there so we're going to pass in the time it takes at least one parameter we're going to pass in the time and we're going to delete this guy here so let's go and refresh the page and see what happens keep your eye on this time this time doesn't look cool so keep your eye on it so we're oh the, okay so it tells us that this thing had this guy registered two weeks two days ago and that looks cool amazing there are so many other things we can do here like specify the format and uh, what if this guy registered um like two weeks ago and we don't need it to tell us two days ago or what if this guy registered five years ago and we don't need it to tell us if this guy registered five years six months two weeks two days ago no we just wanted to limit to weeks so we're, what we're going to do is to um, add more properties here so we're just going to do this and um, let us work on the accuracy so we're just going to pass accuracy do I still know how to spell accuracy? Accuracy. So we're going to say the accuracy should just get limited to the accuracy should li get limited to week. I'm going to say week. Week. So it should stop at week. So let's go and refresh and see whether what we did worked. So if it's two weeks ago, it just tells us two weeks ago. We don't need to know the extra two days involved. So uh, you can do use month, month, accuracy, month, month, or day, day, or minute, minute, hour, hour, or year, year, depending on, on what you want. Okay, so it can just tell you that this guy registered, registered 10 years ago. Instead of 10 years, 6 months, 5 weeks, 2, or whatever, whatever. So there are so many other things to use here. So I'll show you where to read it up on PHP's documentation. So you're basically going to go to um and since we already have it open here so we're just going to go to cake php's documentation so just go to cakephp.org and when it opens you click on documentation and click on book so when this book opens that's it here you scroll down to the left and you see on date time hit on date time and you'll see this this explains everything and all the other possibilities about managing time in cake php i just showed you the basics of it all right so the next thing we're going to do is to try and manipulate time right inside the controller if we go back to our app and um, click view just to see this guy what we can do is to try and um, output something here if the guy was had if this guy registered within three weeks ago for instance so we'll go to the user controller to use time in user in cake php controllers you have to import it so we're going to say use we have it imported and the next thing we're going to do is to start using it straight up so let's go to the view and start using it so we already have this guy here we're going to say um check check registration time registration time or whatever you want to name your variable so we just say new time then we pass in the time we're going to pass in the time here so we can just say that this guy 
and the time is in created remember so we're going to say this guy created so we're going to start checking we can say if this guy if um this guy you can just say this uh, was within last it's a it's a method in kick php that you can use to check things remember i told you you can read it up in kick php documentation you can read it up um, right here it's down 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 the page so we're going to check whether this guy registered within last three weeks so within last we can say three weeks then do something um i don't want to apply, put anything in the page so but we can just spit it out in kick php you can use the bug to split things out the page otherwise if it's if it was laravel you would use dd all right kick php's debug is a much neater way to get this done and so we're going to if it was within this last three weeks you can just say you registered within three weeks ago so in your application you can just use it to maybe give them um, a special discount by just checking this otherwise we're going to debug again and say you registered more than three weeks ago all right cool so we're going to try and refresh this user page this debug would kill the rest of the page it will output spit out what we have in the debug before the rest of the page so we refresh and uh, let us see what comes up okay we have a syntax error on line 58 so we'll go to line 58 there is a syntax error yes yeah, so we're going to add this and uh, we'll refresh and there we have you registered within three weeks ago remember this user's registration date is three weeks is within three weeks ago you know how we know because this is within three weeks ago if we go back go to the, the front end user we go to users and go to view we can do a little manipulation created that tells us that this time time ago in words and we're going to pass created user created to delete and refresh keep your eye here oops time ago in words we made a mistake it's supposed to be plural time ago in words so we refresh and we scroll down so it's two weeks ago which means two weeks ago was within three weeks ago so we are correct so depending on the manipulations you want to do on your user controller you can always um, just import time and um, just the way I did here and do the rest of your manipulations. so I'm just going to delete this because we don't need it right now so thank you very much see you in the next video where we do other crazy stuff